we describe several steps that improve the consistency of performing a thermal nerve sparing in appropriately selected candidates. The first step is to define the posterior contour of the prostate. De Nombier's fascia is sharply entered to begin a plane of dissection posterior to the prostate. The glistening appearance of De Nombier's inferiorly should be seen. If pre-rectal fat is visible, the plane of dissection is broad anteriorly. The dissection plane is developed laterally until the medial aspect of the neurovascular bundle is encountered. The second step is to define the anterolateral prostatic contour. The endopelvic fascia and lateral fascia are entered high on the mid-prostate. The lateral pelvic fascia is split and the levator fascia swept away from the prostate. Notice how the levator ani fibers are not directly visible but covered by the lateral prostatic fascia. Frequently, components of the nerve bundle are encountered on the underside of the levator fascia. In this example, a prominent nerve bundle is released with the sweeping motion and lies lateral to the planned nerve sparing dissection plane. To further define the lateral prostatic contour, the lateral pelvic fascia over the prostatic pedicle is dissected. This thins the vascular pedicle, thereby facilitating clip placement. The final step is pedicle division and bundle release. The pedicle has been attenuated medially with the posterior dissection and clips are applied to divide the pedicle in an athermal fashion. The previously dissected posteromedial and anterolateral prostatic borders are now clearly visible and will be connected with pedicle clips. Nerve sparing may now continue and proceed in either an inter or intrafascial plane as determined by patient tumor characteristics. Sharp dissection only is used to remove the remnants of the neurovascular bundle from the prostate. This second example illustrates how the anterior and posterior dissection may be joined circumferentially while defining the anterolateral contour and thus facilitate and ease later neurovascular bundle dissection. The prostatic contours are now clearly defined and connecting vascular tissue will be divided. As can be seen, once the pedicle is divided by clips, the previous area between anterolateral and posteromedial contour is already 